right, so we, we got the pressure switch taken care of, and now what we're going to do, we're going to do a few other simple tests uh, just to make sure these customers don't have any other you know issues throughout the fall and winter. Um, simple, easy things, quick to do, saves us from a call back, keeps the customer happy. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to test the flame sensor, and the uh, way we're going to do that is with uh, field piece for SC420. Um, you got to have the DC voltage milliamps ability, and you got to be able to test DC milliamps. And what you want to do is you want to take and find somewhere good to clamp your meter so it's out the way and gives you your hands free. Then you want to find your flame sensor here. So your flame sensor is just going to be right there in the path of the flame somewhere. It's going to have a single wire to it. You want to disconnect that wire. Then you want to take and hook your positive terminal up going to the furnace control board and take your negative and you're going to hook it right back up to your flame sensor. And what that's going to do is that's going to let the uh, the voltage flow through your meter. Your meter is going to be able to read that and it'll tell you how well your flame sensor is working. Uh, so first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and make sure the heat is calling for heat here. down here all right everything's firing up and you see we're reading yeah 0 0.7 0 0.8 you know in that area that's kind of low I generally like to see it you know 1.5 or better so what we'll do is we'll we'll pull that flame sensor out and uh, and give it a good cleaning and you notice it as soon as I disconnect my lead, it, it kills the kills the flame. So we'll shut this system off, clean it. Just a quarter inch screw. And there's your flame sensor. And I mean, you can use a lot of different things. I try not to do anything too abrasive. Uh, you don't want to scratch up the surface too much or anything like that. Typically, I'll use sleeve, use a sleeve on my hoodie or a dollar bill. A dollar bill actually works really good, but it's Monday, so I'm broke. Trying clean all that off really good and that's pretty much it so we'll put it back just line it all back up in there Sensor. And everything fired off and done just like 
his first take. 